Who was the man who outsmarted the gods themselves and navigated his way through the most perilous journeys known to man? This enigma, this hero, is none other than the legendary Odysseus, the protagonist of Homer's epic, The Odyssey. A figure shrouded in myth, legend and mystery, Odysseus, stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the power of intellect. More than just a character in an epic, he was a king, a warrior, a strategist, and perhaps the most intriguing figure of Greek mythology. The ruler of the island kingdom of Ithaca, his subjects didn't just revere him for his royal lineage, but for his wisdom, cunning, and indomitable spirit. As we delve deeper into the tapestry of the, the Trojan War, Odysseus stands out as a master tactician, his foresight instrumental in the Greek victory. But what truly made him a hero was his ability to blend courage with cunning, strength with strategy, and boldness with brains. Not the strongest or the fearsome, but the smartest. His reputation as a cunning strategist stemmed just from his military exploits, but also from his skill as a master of disguise, a diplomat, and a judge of character. These traits helped him navigate the treacherous waters of ancient politics and outwit enemies, making him a formidable foe and a respected leader. Yet despite his many feats and legendary status, Odysseus remains an enigma. His story, a mosaic of courage, cunning, resilience, hubris, deceit, and fallibility, paints a portrait of a hero who was deeply human, with all the complexities and contradictions that entails. So now, brace yourselves as we set sail on the captivating and perilous journey of this ancient hero, Odysseus. Odysseus's tale begins with the infamous Trojan War, a decade-long conflict that pitted the kingdoms of Greece against the city of Troy. Now, Odysseus was not just a mere participant in this war, he was one of its most influential strategists, and his cunning, would ultimately lead to the downfall of the mighty city of Troy. In the tenth year of this gruelling war, it was Odysseus who proposed a plan so audacious, so daring, that it would forever be remembered as one of the most ingenious military strategies in history. He suggested building a giant wooden horse, large enough to hold a number of Greek soldiers inside. This horse, he declared, would be left outside the gates of Troy as a supposed offering to the gods, a symbol of the Greek surrender. Intrigued by this unexpected gift and believing the war to be over, the Trojans brought the horse within their city walls. Little did they know, they were bringing in the very instrument of their doom. As night fell, the Greek soldiers concealed within the horse emerged, opening the city gates for the rest of the Greek army. What followed was a surprise attack that left Troy defenseless and led to its utter destruction. The demise of Troy was a testament to Odysseus's cunning and strategic brilliance, but it also marked the beginning of a series of trials and tribulations for our hero. The gods, displeased by the Greeks' trickery and the desecration of their holy city, decided to make Odysseus's journey home to Ithaca a challenging one. From a war hero, Odysseus was now a man at the mercy of the gods, tossed about on the sea of fate. His reliance on cunning and strategy would be tested in ways he could never have imagined. With Troy in ruins, Odysseus set sail for his homeland, Ithaca, but his journey home was far from straightforward. The voyage back to Ithaca was a journey that would test Odysseus's cunning and endurance to their limits. One of the most significant events during Odysseus's odyssey was his encounter with the Cyclops, Polyphemus. This was a test of Odysseus's cunning and resourcefulness. Trapped in the Cyclops' cave with a boulder blocking their only exit, Odysseus and his men seemed doomed. But Odysseus, ever the strategist, devised a plan. He offered the Cyclops wine, which soon sent the creature into a deep sleep. Then using a sharpened olive tree trunk, Odysseus and his men blinded the Cyclops, enabling them to escape. The next test came in the form of the enchanting sirens. These creatures had the power to lure sailors to their deaths with their captivating songs. But Odysseus, warned by the sorceress Circe, had his men plug their ears with beeswax and had himself tied to the mast of his ship. As they sailed past the sirens, Odysseus became the first man to hear their song and live to tell the tale. Odysseus's journey also led him to the island of the goddess, Calypso. Here, he was held captive for seven long years, with Calypso promising him immortality if he would stay with her. But Odysseus' longing for his wife Penelope and his home in Ithaca was too great. Eventually, the gods intervened and Calypso was ordered to release him. But the journey home was not without its hardships. Odysseus lost all his men to various calamities. He had to contend with tempestuous seas, hostile creatures, and even the wrath of the gods. His physical strength was tested, 
his mental fortitude was pushed to the edge and his faith was tried. Yet through it all, Odysseus never lost sight of his goal. He used his cunning to outwit his enemies, his courage to confront his fears, and his endurance to withstand the trials that came his way. He was propelled by his unwavering desire to return to his beloved Ithaca and his wife Penelope. This odyssey, this ten-year journey home, was more than just a physical voyage. It was a journey of self-discovery, a test of character, and a lesson in resilience. It was a testament to Odysseus's resourcefulness, his determination, and his unwavering will to survive. After a decade of trials and tribulations, Odysseus finally reached Ithaca, but his challenges were far from over. As we will see, even upon his return, Odysseus had to use his wits and bravery to reclaim his kingdom. But that, dear listener, is a tale for another scene. Back in Ithaca, Odysseus found his kingdom in disarray, with suitors vying for his wife's hand. In the shadowy chaos of his once prosperous kingdom, Odysseus, the man of twists and turns, found himself faced with yet another challenge. His home, his kingdom, was now a playground for opportunistic suitors, each seeking to claim his wife, the faithful Penelope, and his throne. But Odysseus, ever the strategist, was not to be outdone. He hatched a cunning plan, a plan that would see him reclaim his rightful place. Disguised as a beggar, he entered his own palace unnoticed, a ghost in his own home, observing the suitors' disrespectful antics, their wasteful feasting, and their disregard for Ithacan customs. The time for the final showdown was near. Odysseus, still in disguise, proposed a contest of strength, a test of drawing his own mighty bow, a feat only he could accomplish. The suitors, driven by their ego and desire for Penelope and the throne, took the bait. One by one, they failed, unable to bend the bow, let alone string it. And then, the beggar stepped forward. With a swift, fluid motion, Odysseus strung the bow, his identity revealed in that moment of triumphant strength. The suitors, stunned into silence, could only watch as their demise unfolded. With the bow in his hand, Odysseus, the rightful king of Ithaca, unleashed his wrath upon the suitors, his arrows finding their mark with deadly precision. With the suitors vanquished, Ithaca was his once more. The reunion with his wife Penelope and his son Telemachus was a moment of joy and relief, a moment that marked the end of his long and arduous journey. The prodigal king had returned to reclaim his kingdom, his family, and his life. And so, after twenty years away from home, Odysseus's journey finally came to an end. Odysseus's journey, filled with danger, adventure, and cunning, has left an indelible mark on the annals of history. This voyage of a man, a hero, tested to his limits, has become a cornerstone of Western literature. It's a tale that has been told and retold, translated and reinterpreted, for over 2,000 years. A beacon of cunning intelligence and resilience, Odysseus's legacy goes beyond the written word. His influence permeates popular culture, seen in everything from Hollywood blockbusters to modern novels. His story, a testament to the human spirit's ability to endure, to adapt, to outwit, resonates with us now more than ever. Odysseus, the man who faced gods and monsters, who navigated between Scylla and Charybdis, who tricked the mighty Cyclops, has become a symbol. He's a symbol of intelligence, endurance, and the human spirit's resilience. Odysseus, the hero of Troy, the king of Ithaca, remains a symbol of intelligence, endurance, and the human spirit's resilience. His epic journey continues to captivate us, reminding us of the potential within us all to overcome adversity, 